found me in the woods cause I was raised by possums. You wouldn't believe it, but the life was awesome. You don't know nothing about me, dude. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I am in a good mood today. Ruffles, my oldest dog, and Walter are freaking out looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with this fool? Anywho, enough of all that. How's everybody doing out there? Y'all good? Good. I'm good. Let's take a look at the Mythic Legion's Dragon Warrior. At least that's what I'm calling him. He's part of a guard. Uh, they didn't actually print his name on here, so they just have the guard. But I'm calling him Dragon Warrior. He looks pretty cool. He comes with, instead of interchangeable hands, he actually comes with these talons. Do dragons have large talons? The answer is yes, they do. They're dragons. Uh, so there's a really nice paint deco on these. Nice sculpt. You can see the scales, the little bumpiness, and they did a really nice wash of that metallic, kind of sparkly baby blue color. Uh, and then, of course, you got the hinge in the middle. Uh, they are kind of a rubbery, hard plastic, so I'm sure if you wanted to perch them on something uh, that you could find a fit. There's a more open claw. The claw! So, pretty cool. A little something different there. Um, I like the paint deco that he has on himself. Uh, so he's got the gold and the blue of his little tartan there, uh, whatever they call that. And then of course his armor, you got bronze and gold. And then his sword, which is this really nice kind of uh, steel, but solid steel. So it looks like it was forged. It doesn't have that real metallic shine like the handle does. So I kind of like that flatness of it. Uh, and then he's got two gripping hands so he can hold his sword in either hand. Uh, the posability on it is not great, but it's not bad. I mean, he's got his armor, so his arm can go up that high. And then, of course, back down. He can rotate it all the way around. You got a hinge, double hinge at the elbow. And you got the hinge at the wrist. Pretty tight. And then, of course, you got the swivel. Um, on this elbow, mine came in super loose. Uh, that's the most disappointing thing about this, but it was, I think, 45, 50 bucks, and I'm pretty sure I can fix that. Um, I don't want to say how just yet, because if I screw it up, I don't want you guys to copy me. Um, but his head actually doesn't um, have a joint at the neck. It's just down here by his chest is on a ball joint, so you can spin him all the way around. He can kind of look down, but he can't look up really. Uh, pretty much just straight ahead. His legs, ball joint, and hinge out. Uh, so you can either have him in a squatting pose, kind of a, a warrior stance like I had him set up at the beginning. Uh, or you can straighten it out and he got a hinge at his talons down here or his feet or you can have a more erect but um, the only thing that I would have liked to have seen different is kind of a less metallic -y sheen on his either scales or feathers whatever you want to call those um, I think the juxtaposition would have been a nice change in pace between the armor, which is very, very shiny and metallic-y. Um, you can leave it on, like, the talons and stuff, but a nice kind of just uh, base color would have been nice for the scales or feathers. But, having said that, um, oh yeah, he does have a, a swivel at his waist. And then up here in his chest but it doesn't really move all that far uh, but the details everywhere in this are amazing you can see he's got his claws coming down here everywhere is nice and crisp it looks like the Sun is rising above the talons and you got this 
kind of old dragon bird skull in the middle of his belt and then of course this powder horn here a really really nice paint job there you can see the cracks and stuff in it and you got some maroons and gold and the little belt that's hanging on you got a nice uh, baby blue color and all those little studs uh, the base very very nice detail you got this little hand um, back scratcher <laughs> uh, and then I like the little wings that he has on his armor right there uh, just everywhere you look uh, you got some bones that might be eating utensils or maybe to stab somebody some sort of grenade or something it looks like and of course he's got to take his parcel back that's his mission and then I like the red conch at the on this belt buckle there uh, pretty nice detail I mean everywhere you look it's it looks good so once you get them set up into a pose that you like um, you know he's gonna stand out on your shelf for sure so you can see that they kinda go in and out of the blue um, and then the purple I think that looks really good back there actually uh, but you know when you're facing them forward pretty much all you get is the is the purple so it would have been been nice to see a little a little bit of a change in there um, other than that uh, I think I went over everything else but uh, I would say this figure is worth it I got it at Big Bad Toy Store like I said for $45-$50 uh, you can scroll through they have a lot of pre-orders for the Mythic Legions right now so there's some good ones coming down the line um, they're very collector friendly as I've said in past videos of the Mythic Legions figures they do have awesome interchangeability uh, so any of the other figures that you want to swap out heads you want to swap out accessories they make it really really easy to do so so very cool that they do that and then of course here is the package that they come in very nice window display clearly displaying the figure and there's the back very warlike scene on the back kind of hellish I really want this blue demon looking guy he looks really cool but like I said they got some cool ones coming down uh, coming down the line so if you're interested go take a look big bad toy store and if you like this review please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do so everybody have a good day and take care bye bye